Good morning YouTube viewers and subscribers. So I've got my uh, Toyon FS S100 engine mounted on my mock-up bench here now so that I can actually run it in the uh, truth of the matter is that I actually did run this yesterday and that's why this setup looks a little bit kludged now which I don't really care um, because I found some found out some things about this engine and how I had it mounted and some of the things I bought so like well not bought but this battery pack that I had on here that it was supposed to power the starter motor 7.2 volt 1800 milliamp hour back pack did not really cut the mustard wouldn't even turn that thing over at all so I've completely removed the starter motor from this thing and the controller and the servo controller there so that's completely gone from the setup <clears throat> I've got an OSF glow plug in here now initially I had this tank just down on one piece oh, I, I, yeah it was just down on one piece and this engine you know it runs pretty hot for obvious reasons when, when I was doing a quick run of it in my garage on the floor it was in my garage on the floor and I believe that these it's the fan blades a cooling fan <laughs> I believe that's really more for show than actual operation and doing anything because the engine gets pretty damn warm so anyway I thought that uh, maybe this fuel tank was a bit low and that was part of my issue because a couple times I was running it would just shut down and I don't know if the fuel level was too low or what so I've raised this tank up a bit so that it's a bit closer to the carb not unrealistic uh, as what it would be on a car because these are about in the same plane and that was one of the things that I didn't think about initially was putting this engine on this mount here is actually you know raising it up off the off the board pretty high so I really didn't think about the height of the tank at that time whether that's a big contributor to how it was running or not I don't know but I'm actually kinda glad I did because it turned out that this engine actually it gets pretty darn hot and because of that I decided to put one of my little Venom um, controller or temp monitors on here so you can see that and right now the loop or the thermocouple is is on this side of the case now I had to be extremely careful about how I routed the loop and everything because it's like going under this oil exhaust or oil port I had to be pretty careful about how I mounted that uh, so it wouldn't interfere with the the belt at all so you may be saying well how in the hell would you start the thing if you took the electric starter off and I was like well you know what I used my electric starter for airplanes which is kind of funny because any of the, those of you that have those electric starters know that you've got about I don't know maybe three-eighths of an inch of your rubber starter sticking out from the metal cone that it is inserted into well it turns out it was just enough for me to actually put it on the side here and fire it up and it actually works really well the other thing that's nice about this current setup is that that gives me more room to put my to engage my starter and then I've got I put a piece of reflective tape here because I have this laser tachometer so what I'm going to do here is when I run it I may have to shorten this line or route it someplace so it's not in, in the viewing range of the tack um, hopefully I'm going to try and get some uh, RPM readings off of this thing. Yesterday it was rather hit or miss as to whether you know it was really working or not. But and on the on the floor I had it sitting on the floor running it, and you know it moves around quite a bit. So I was having to have to hold this and then hold this and and then try to operate the throttle. So it was all kind of a little bit interesting there at first. So I've got holes in my board here now, so it's going to be firmly attached to my airplane engine stand and I should only have to worry about trying to hold this in place so we can get some readings. The really interesting thing is going to be seeing if I can get a proper camera angle so that we can see both the temperature and the RPM readings at the same time while the engine's running and while I'm still operating the throttle. But anyway, uh, that's kind of a quick overview of my setup so 
the moment we've all been waiting for, let's go out and give this thing a run. Alright, let's prime this full throttle.